Привіт! I'm Taya from Ukraine and welcome to my channel again. Guys, today I would like to, you to relax and hear some funny and interesting Ukrainian traditions that you might never heard about and that might be weird and will shock you. So, let's get started. Most of them will be wedding traditions, but as a bonus, two more. These traditions are dying and younger generation think it is so weird and funny that it doesn't make sense to do that. Plus, I even had to Google before the video to know what does it really mean and what's the history behind it. Number one is you have to pay at the wedding for the bride. At the wedding day, the groom is coming to the house of bride where the guests or his best man, best woman does not let him in until he, you know, does some tasks and he pays money, he gives money. And uh, of course, this is weird uh, in our 21st century. It may sound like a joke and a fun. You can still see in some village on, or small uh, cities, but in big cities nobody does it anymore. <laughs> Що означає для тебе цифра 6? Шостого грудня ага. почали зустрічатися. Добре. О, підсувайте трошки. Підсувайте. Сергій Пуржі, Сергій Михайлович. Мало. Трошки, трошки. Так? Next one that is kind of weird is groom has to clean the legs, the feet exactly, of his mother-in-law with Alcohol. This tradition is mostly popular in uh, Western Ukraine. I think for people from East or South, this will be also a new information. However, I saw a photo album of my family and my relatives did that in uh, early 2000. Next tradition came from Caucasus. You need to kidnap a bride. Uh, why? I don't know, just for fun. You do it when you are in the restaurant, uh, you know, all ceremonies are done and then f f somehow <laughs> someone kidnapped a bride and then groom has to do another stuff. No more money this time, but he needs to, I don't know, dance or sing or, you know, follow some task that um, they made up for him. So groom really needs to work out during the wedding. Hi, huh? it's not a relaxing day at all. Those stuff will not be on my wedding 100%, but I think foreigners would love it. Maybe I need to make a fake wedding stores to Ukraine bonus section uh, this is not going to be about wedding this is about the baptizing day or uh, we do in winter when it's still cold you need to go to the river or some cold water uh, and you just to wear your underwear or swimsuit and then three times you need to uh, pour yourself into the water it came from a church so it's a religious holiday however 
Doctors do not recommend you to do this if you are not ready. In this day, people believe the water is holy everywhere and uh, you will be healthy. I've never done it personally because uh, it's kind of cold, you know. And the last tradition for the day, eating at cemetery. As far as I know, this is mostly common in central part of Ukraine. In my grandma's village we did that so there's a, some uh tenth day or i don't remember which day you need to go after easter uh to the cemetery and commemorate uh, the your death family who are dead and you bring food and uh, you know eat at the cemetery you just you don't cry you just casually sitting also bring some chocolate and uh, some candies in bags and put it on the grave and then kids will take those food and eat it thank you for watching this video i hope it uh, made you smile let me know if you've heard other interesting traditions that have shocked you before find me on social media instagram and, and facebook don't forget that i do live streams last saturday of the month and this is like mostly q and a live streams have a good day and see you in the next episode bye bye